show where Mark and I are going to review a lot of things. Whatever you want and whatever we feel like. <laughs> it doesn't have to be shows. It can be society as a whole. <laughs> it can be the world yes. we're in. It can be food. Not, not that anyone has opinions on society <laughs> as a whole. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, we'll try to be politically correct. Not. No. <laughs> but um, we miss all of our theater friends, we miss doing shows. So I am kind of like got my Moana set because I'm really still hoping and praying for Moana this fall. So I am at the ocean and Mark is on stage. I, I am on stage, like in front of the curtain, ready to announce the next show. And let's hope that that is sooner than later. And I really do hope for Moana as well, because my kids are very involved in the CSA at the Center for the Arts as well. And that is the next big show. And we want to do it. It's such a great show, great music. Everybody loves it. And um, I hope we can do it. Me too. And I miss it. I miss everybody. So this is a way to get people involved. Uh, don't be surprised if you get called up and end up on the show with us. We're just going to have fun. But the first thing is we have a really big announcement that we want to announce uh, because we are fighting for theater. We're fighting yep. for the Center for the Arts. And uh, what I, I we had several <laughs> themes and slogans. I liked um, art is in our heart, but that one didn't get passed. <laughs> But art is in heart. It's in the word heart. You know, it's at the last it three is. letters. So keep art in your heart. And what we're doing is we're launching a what, Mark? What are we launching Friday? We are launching a talent show fundraiser. Yes. And it is where? Online. <laughs> It is online. It's another reason we're doing it like this, so you can see how easy it is to record yourself and perform. So what everybody, what this talent show is, is there are prizes. First prize is how much, Mark? Oh my goodness. First prize, you guys, is $500 cash. Yes, yes. not $500 in gift certificates to see shows. <laughs> <laughs> it's $500 cash. Second prize is? Oh gosh, I'm not sure I know. 250? Yes, yeah. Yes. That's the first. And third prize is? Is it 100? 100. Nice. So we have cash prizes. Anyway, it's going to be great. And all of this goes to Benefit Center for the Arts and to keep art alive in the community. So you, all you have to do is video yourself doing a one minute talent. Now your talent can be anything. You don't have to sing like Mark because Mark sings great and it's easy for him to do a one minute song and everybody fall on the floor because it's so beautiful. But maybe you're not a singer or an actor or maybe you can't dance. Maybe you don't, but maybe you can make the best, decorate the best cupcakes in the world. Or maybe you're adorable like my grandson Ransom and you can sing happy birthday. So cute. Whatever you think your talent is, maybe you can paint rocks. Maybe you can uh, burp loud like the guy on Elf or whatever you want to do. One minute, you upload it. To, and well, there's directions and instructions on how to get your video uploaded. And then you ask people to vote for you. So one vote is a dollar. So if, if you want to vote for me, because I've already uploaded my video, and I'm doing a monologue from The Lord of the Rings, which is one of my favorite movies, and it's my favorite monologue, but let's say you want to vote 25 votes for me, it's 25 bucks. Woohoo! And we have a goal set, each one of us have a goal set to meet our goal. So in this, you can challenge someone. Remember the ice bucket challenge from a few years ago where people threw a bucket of water on their head? Well, we're not gonna do that, but we're gonna challenge people 
if you upload your video, then you challenge someone. So I've uploaded mine and I'm challenging Mark to upload one and enter the talent contest. It's free to enter. It doesn't cost you anything but one minute's time to do, to put up your video. Now in a challenge, you can dare. Okay. So I'm going to challenge him. And do you accept, are you going to enter the talent show, Mark? I will enter the talent show. So talented he should. Okay. So he's going to enter. Now I have a huge goal because I always think big. I set a goal of $5,000. Yikes. So I really need people to vote 5,000 times for me. <laughs> but if I reach my goal before he reaches his goal, Mark has to dress up like a cat from the movie Cats and he has to walk around town all day like that. We have to go to coffee like that. And then in the next show, he has to wear the ensemble and sing Memories from Cats. So you want to vote for me uh, to see Mark do that. Please vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> now he can double dare and he can dare me back. Are you going to double dare? $5,000, really? Yeah. I raised 524 hours. Remember last time we did a little something? Yes, I said 500. Did. Wasn't even talent. I raised it in 24 hours. So I think by the end of September, I can come up with 5,000. You did beat us all at that. I give you that. What would a double <laughs> dare be? A double dare means if you say, okay, well, if I hit my goal first, which means you have to come up to my goal, 5,000, because it's not fair to go 500 and beat it first. So if you say, I'll double dare you, I'll meet your goal. But what you have to do if I get mine first is, and then you have to dare me. Okay, double dare. Oh no. <laughs> double it down. All right. So I've got lots of friends in Minnesota. I know you got friends in California and all the places you've been, but I've got a contingency, I will say, in Minnesota and a retirement community with my parents in Arizona. <laughs> I am doubling down and double daring you for 5,000, and if I win, which means you lose, <laughs> you, she doesn't know this, you <laughs> have to wear the makeup of Rafiki. You have to paint yourself as Rafiki, uh -huh. and like me as a cat, walk around town <laughs> and take photos, and you have to do an entire talk show dressed as Rafiki. Rafiki, okay. <laughs> do I get to hit you with my stick? Boom. <laughs> I think that would be fun. Yes. I accept your dare. I will be Rafiki. Okay. I will not be Rafiki. You will be a cat and I will have one because we'd much oh. rather see Mark as a cat than me as Rafiki. <laughs> because he oh, he oh, hated oh, on oh. cats so much when the cat movie came out. You hated on that so bad. So I think everybody wants to see you be a cat. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I'm coming so, for you. <laughs> <laughs> So we want, we want everybody to do is join this talent contest because it will be fun and just put your video on your social media, pass it around. People can just click on your um, little link there and the, all the directions will be put out on Friday. So follow the directions. It's very easy. You just upload a one minute video to your YouTube channel and then put the link on the um, talent page that everybody gets their own talent page. Like I said, the instructions are very explanatory. I printed them out. Um, but you can do that and then you just you challenge everybody so i think mark has a challenge he's going to bring someone on a surprise and challenge them that doesn't know anything about the talent show i do i asked somebody and i'm going to tell them to um come on to our our little talk show right now but i do want to say piggybacking on what you said about the different kinds of talents in 45 seconds or a minute it might be hard to show that you're an artist and can draw something cool, but you could time lapse, couldn't you? Yes, yes. You could show idea. and like do a minute of from start to finish, and we see that you did it, and we see the final product, and that could be something that an artist could do, or a baker, mm -hmm. you know, or a, a you know somebody cooking. So um, I'm yes. excited for the different talents that we have. It's not just for the theater crowd. It's for anybody who wants to help support the center. Right. And if you have a, a grandson, granddaughter, and you're not a person on stage, but you have a fun, you can whistle, <laughs> <laughs> bring it on and help us raise some money for the center. I mean, we just want to have fun and people can give a dollar, right? They could give yeah. $2. They could give 50. They could give 
5,000 all at once to me. Yeah, to me. And then he has to dress up like a cat. <laughs> yeah, so it'll all be right. fun. And there's a lot of talent out there. You may not realize, you know, you're, you can do it and it will be a lot of fun and encourage and challenge your friends to join. And you could share it on Facebook. You mm -hmm. can email it to all your friends and family. You could do Instagram. Uh, we just want to encourage everybody to use every outlet that they can um, to be creative. And again, $500 for the first yeah, prize. Yeah, 500, yes. 100 for third yeah. prize. And that's like a minute of your time. I love it. Who is Billy Bergamot? Is that Nick? Oh my gosh, it is. That's yeah, I was afraid. The, uh, murder mystery party we oh, did. Oh, that's right. I was afraid. Hey, oh, Billy Bergamot. Nick True. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It says Hi. Billy Bergamot. I almost didn't let you in because I thought you were one of those people that comes on <laughs> oh, Zoom and does profanity. <laughs> I guess that's the last time you used Zoom, huh? Yes, I need to change it. <laughs> yeah, you haven't used Zoom in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I almost didn't let you in. I'm like, oh no, somebody is back. Billy Bird. Yeah. Well, welcome to our talk show, The Review. And this is our inaugural first episode. And we are doing a fundraiser for the Center for the Arts, mm -hmm. which I know I will explain that Nick was um, Jack Kelly in our Newsies that I directed. Really? One of the, probably the best show I've had a part of being of, and I uh, loved it. The cast was incredible, but Nick was the lead. And he was my flounder in Little Mermaid, which was the first show that I did at the Center for the Arts. And he's done, he was at Footloose and all kinds of stuff. So He was in my Legally Blonde, but I didn't know he was as talented as he was. <laughs> I didn't know that and then one day he had to step in for somebody that was out and I almost cried because I'm like this guy's incredible and I did not know he was that talented well thank yeah. you <laughs> yes so note Denise that I did not pick a schmuck <laughs> no. I picked a very <laughs> talented person and I am challenging you Nick to do our fundraiser and what it is, is uploading a video of 45 seconds to a minute long okay. of a talent that you have. Perhaps it's singing, just a thought. Okay. And we share it all over all our platforms, Facebook, Instagram. You can email everybody. You get all your family. And people can give a dollar to you, $2. They could give 25 It's a they vote. Could give Each vote for you is a dollar. You don't get it. Or the yeah. center gets it. <laughs> it, goes, it goes to the center and the person who raises the most money wins i'm not kidding 500 dollars. oh wow and second place is 250 and third place is 100 dollars hmm. for 45 seconds to a minute of your time and it's very easy. Um, we'll have directions that we can uh, give you, and everybody will get this um, this week. But uh, you just upload a video to YouTube and share it everywhere. Do you accept my challenge? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I do have a feeling, and I do know that okay. you have – other talented friends and family, such as your mother and your mm -hmm. girlfriend and yeah. her entire family. Mm -hmm. And so I also challenge you to get them on board as and well. And he's got a dad that's talent is building amazing sets so he could show something he's built or made or a prop. See, that's a yeah. talent. Robert has tons of talent. Absolutely. Cool. So it's like I said, it's, um, just something that we want to do to raise money for the center and it's a healthy competition so i've got to give you and you can give me and this is completely spontaneous something that we have to do so we'll tell you denise said if she raises more than me or if i reach my goal first we have the, the same 5, goal she said five thousand dollars i think oh big. come on go big or go you home got, you've got big time faith Oh, okay. I have to dress up like a cat from Cats. 
Oh no. Uh, yes, right? that's why you want to vote for me because he has to go all over town looking like a cat and he has to sing memories. <laughs> But you know, Denise is so good with makeup. I told her if I win and reach my goal first, then she has to put makeup on like Rafiki and walk around town and do the entire talk show dressed as Rafiki. And if that happens, I will rock that Rafiki makeup. Yeah, you It'll will. It'll be the new trend. Everybody within a week will be wearing Rafiki makeup. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your goal, Mark? Well, she double dared me. Well, I double dared her so I oh. could give her. So my oh, to my double dare, he has to ah! match my goal. Both Between both of us, if we hit our goal, we've raised 10000 for the center and for art. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. So can make. you can have a different goal. Yeah. You and I can have a completely different challenge. Okay. <laughs> He's so like, wait. my so goal $20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> So like each, so they, they would do, so for every dollar that is donated, it's a vote. Is that how it is? Yeah. Like if I want to vote, if I think your talent's good and I'm like, I'm going to vote, give you 10 votes. It's, to, I just pay 10 bucks to the site. You know, gotcha. a vote is a dollar. So that's how it works. Gotcha. And I would have to explain that in my video or is that just. No, when they go to your landing page, it all just says vote for me. It's, you know, it'll be simple. They, we have a landing page where when they click on your thing, it tells them what to do. If they want to say, so just all you have to do is put your video up and it says, you know, vote for me. They click the link and they're on the landing page. It's a really cool system. It's yeah. really self explanatory. You can put a little paragraph about, like, Denise believes in the children. She's doing it for the children. And then she did her video. And then you can vote for her. And some people will probably honestly vote a dollar, 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 dollar for every child who enters. And that's <laughs> cool too. I've got what? the children on my side. I'm like, a vote for me is a vote for the kids. And I did the monologue from Lord of the Ring and I cried. Yeah, <laughs> There's it was some good, good left in this I'm world, Mr. Frodo. <laughs> so if money. I I could just, you know, tell all my kids that, you know, I, I talk to weekly, I'd be like, hey, go get your parents to <laughs> yeah. yeah, Nick is the um children's choir director at a very large church. So yeah. if he were to use that influence he would have a lot <laughs> vote for me and you'll go to heaven no no <laughs> no 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 don't vote for me and guess what <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you will get the lead role yeah <laughs> okay well what do you think how much do you want to set as your goal um i have no idea you're like putting me on the spot i am how about 500? Oh, my. I was literally thinking that. So, boom. 500. Okay. All right. That's Woo, good. You okay. can do it. You're so talented. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and it's just, if you don't reach it, you, you don't reach it, and I win. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's all for the center. So, it's yeah. all fun. And I hope Sophie does it, and your mom does it, and everybody you know so we're going to start spreading the word but this launches this week when this episode airs it will have launched yeah gotcha we probably should air this episode first to promote the launch because i think yeah. that's cool get people excited about it but this yeah. is our new show nick we're calling it the review instead of the view where all those crankety old ladies uh, talking yell at each other <laughs> this the is review. the review so uh, maybe we'll be huh? <laughs> <laughs> I said, can I be whoopee? Yeah. yeah. We'll be me and uh, Mark and I are the new, um, was it Siskel and Ebert? Siskel yeah. and Ebert. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna, but we're not just reviewing just shows. We're reviewing, tonight we're reviewing masks. So we'll let you oh tell us goodness. what you think. Yes. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. That was. This one is Did made by Carrie Bow. I can't breathe. This one is made by Carrie Bow. And it has a feather flower that can detach. Ooh. It can be just like this, or I can attach the flower, or the actually it's a feather, and I can go around. But the only bad thing about this mask is it embarrasses Journey. So <laughs> I can't uh, wear it in public and be I got cool. some masks from Carrie Bow as well. So we have another guest joining us who's going to also help Yay. us. All right, come on in. Yay. So, Hi, Estella. Okay. 
we want to get all ages involved in this. And yes. um, we have a very uh, successful and thriving children's program, thanks to Denise, who, as she said, and it's a long shot, did it all herself. Oh, myself. Me. Totally me. Just me. <laughs> so, Estella, I just got done challenging Nick to, and he has set a goal, and we might not put you on the spot for how much money to raise. Although I do think the kids will raise, get the grandmas and grandpas given. I just want to, I want to interject here and say, we, you said Estella, but a lot of people don't know Estella is like super talented and she's been a star in most all my productions. Like she always, I, she's so good. She was my yes, Anna in Frozen. She was Ariel in Little Mermaid just recently. Those were the two most recent. She is very, very talented. So she'll do good at the talent show. She will. Yeah, I did even introduce her. This is my daughter, oh. Estella. <laughs> and she is a twin. Her brother is Jude, and he is also very involved at the center. But we're starting with um, Estelle. What's your favorite role you've done at the center? Ooh, on the spot. Um, probably Anna. Like yes. she yeah. that nailed so that one. She was perfect. Like nailed it. Perfection. Perfect. There could never be a better Anna. <laughs> <laughs> I loved her also as Gingy. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Every time I see that outfit, I think of her because I made it the night before she was supposed to wear it. <laughs> oh, it was great, though. But when she said, fight me, it was hilarious every yeah. time. <laughs> mm -hmm. So anyways, we're bringing Estella on to challenge a fellow um, child actor, someone else involved at Center Stage Academy. And so, who do you want to challenge to do the fundraiser? Um, I want to challenge Ashlyn Solomon. Ooh, Yay. Ooh Ashlyn's great. And I was, I remember, Denise, if you recall, we had a little fundraiser or a competition for ticket sales for Frozen. Oh, yes. Do you recall who might have won that? Yeah, Ashlyn Solomon. Ashlyn Solomon. She's a go-getter. Yeah. So I love it that she's not shying away from a good, healthy competition. Good. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to think up some dares, Estella, for you and Ashlyn, who meets their goal first. <laughs> yeah. You know what you're going to do? Are you going to sing? You going to uh, sing? I think I'm going to sing. Good. Yeah. For, I don't know what yet, but. We're yeah. working on it. We're working <laughs> on it. And Mama Leah is going to sing. Ooh, should I tell what she's going to sing? I mean, I guess, yeah. Ooh, she's going to sing The Life of the Party from, what's it called? From, uh, I think it's Wild. I don't remember what it's called. I remember the name of the show. <laughs> yeah. Life of the Party. It's life of the Party. Never heard song. it. Because yeah. she is the life of the party, if you know my wife. <laughs> 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 I've yet to decide what I'm going to sing. Nick, what do you think you'll sing? Is it a secret? I have no idea. <laughs> like, I was, um, I'm like going through my mind right now, just like all the different things that I'll sing. So I'm just trying This to is a good fun challenge. Yeah, it is. I'm really excited for this. And what are you going to bring to the table to make yours stand out, to make yours pop? Because all of you have great voices. And I have to tell you, Nick, Mark's like really good because sometimes we forget and it's been so wild a long time since we've been doing shows and then when he came on the set of a long shot and started singing the song from Jekyll and Hyde I almost started crying I had to like I'm like it was so touching he's such a beautiful voice <laughs> yes he does but I hey yes. I'm a good for some competition right here yeah that's true that's okay. true <laughs> <laughs> he will yeah. well Estella <laughs> We decided that we would have you and Nick join us for our mask um, kind did of. Did she see? Did she get review. to see my fancy one, Estella? I guess it's a review of masks, yes. Oh my goodness. You know <laughs> is this that? me or what? It's really not, but it is. No. <laughs> it's stuff is just like, I, I personally like, I don't like wearing them because I'm just, I'm so claustrophobic, but I think we should wear them because we should. We wear seatbelts, don't we? And that saves a life. So put your mask on and help save a and life why not, while we have to. Yeah, why not make them fun and personalize yeah. them a bit? Yes. But, okay, so I have a few. And Yay. we'll just take turns doing them. Okay. So this is your basic, um, like, mask you can buy in the store. 
Now, the Grey's yeah. Anatomy mask. Yes. Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> so, look like your cat. So, um, oh, well, yeah, I my cat is today, here. <laughs> there is, okay, and I'm, I'm, I, maybe I'm a bit slow. Leah has said that at times. But, oh, oh, oh. There is one part that's a little bit more uh, wiry, and yeah. then the one part that's not. Yeah. So, yeah. you should use the wiry part up top. Yeah, to go to get your you nose. Can bend it. I yeah. believe in the past I have not done that. And so I am admitting maybe I'm a bit, hey, Nick, Drew, don't look at me like that. <laughs> but Brittany but, has the same problem you do, Mark. Every time she takes her mask off, her glasses go flying. <laughs> well, yeah. And then how do you keep from fogging your glasses? I Nick? got it. Okay, go. I figured it out. Well, a certain somebody is going to get my um, masks out of the car. Okay. Um, so... I that metal strip. What I figured out is if you you have to grandma your glasses, but if you put your glasses down here or lower on the bridge of your nose and have over your mask the mask further up, it keeps it from fogging up. Because when I'm walking around in a store or something and I have it on, if you put it down further, I'll show it when I get my mask. It kept okay. it from fogging up. So trust me, okay. that was. Annoying. I like these. These are my favorite because they're thinner and I can. I don't feel like I'm so suffocating. I completely agree. Like I can't do the really thick cloth masks. They're too. I got one. Yeah, you, I got one from um, actually Sophie's parents got it for um, them, and then gave me one. And it's a it's a black one. I'm about to have it, but it's like it's Hanes or whatever they had them at Walmart. It's, it's a thong. Like it's a thong. It's a thong. <laughs> <laughs> it's not... He's wearing a thong on his face. Well, I have one. This is not the Hanes one, but I have one we can. This is another one that's kind of like. Ooh. Oh, it's right. got the metal too, and it's like, but you you like a bird beak from the side, but yeah. it has a lot of room to breathe. I like this one better. Right. I've seen people with black ones like that, yeah. and they do look a little bit like birds. Now, this one, my mother-in-law made when this all started. My mother-in-law made kid-sized ones that were too small. What is that? They a were chicken? Too small. Yes. I had yes, a bad dream about a chicken, like this giant chicken that was trying to eat me, and I woke up so scared it was like a <gasps> nightmare. It was terrorizing. Oh. So that mask. Mark, but, take off your mask. Look at this little more. one for ransom. It had Aww. cars. The tiny one. Yeah, the got, kids need them too, right? And then yeah, there's coffee on the back. I got, yeah. What's Ooh. that one? That's like Java. Oh, okay. It, yeah, when she sent me pictures of the cloth that she had, this is the only one I said I would wear. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one, the the um, Walmart one, and it's just it's it's just cloth, but it's super soft, so it's not like, and it's not it looks too stretchy, thick, and it like goes on right. And so what I do is it has a little metal piece right here, and I bend it and I put it up here, and then I kind of put it. <laughs> Like that. Oh, and your, fog, your glasses don't fog. Not as much. If it can does, you see okay just, with it that high? high? Yeah, I can see fine. But I look like a like a assassin, like a ninja. I okay. I actually like that one. I'm gonna I'm gonna give that one a thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, that looks like soft. That. Like it's Journey had to wear. It. Journey started school today, and she had to wear it. And they were only half a day, and they have to wear it com the whole time. They can never take them off. And yeah. so she got in the car at eleven forty, eleven forty-five. She had the worst headache because she had a thicker cloth one. She goes, "I can't do this. I have to do it's, something thinner." It's very yeah. soft. It feels like a Hanes T-shirt. Well, huh. I thought about taking one of my tank tops and. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're in Aladdin at the same no, time. Da -da -da. It's just a tank top, see? And I can tie the back. <laughs> da -da -da. Oh. Da -da. I, I haven't worn it in public yet. Estella looks a, traumatized. <laughs> yes. I have a good one. Uh, so uh Leah, my wife, is a school teacher, so mm -hmm. she is um, you know, gonna have to wear a mask all day and she was, you know researching so this is a two-parter a two-piece i'm gonna use you because you're here all right <laughs> so you you put a bandana and the so bandana cool. right it's it has little uh <laughs> clips up here it looks so cool so, estella so you don't have to uh put it around your ear you put it around these clips and 
Can you get the other side? I don't know. Probably not. Okay. Oh, way back there. <laughs> She's like a motorcycle yeah. girl now. Like, hmm. So it's it. stylish, too. Yes. I mean, they're daisies. It looks a little funky right now, but you can make it look really stylish. And it's got put, this, you know, whatever yeah, that please. is. Put it but, back on the red. See, for me. And it's not on your ears. especially For me, that black. would give me a massive headache because I can't even wear hair bands because I get a headache. Oh, so yeah. I would be like. Well, but that's cute. All, but There's it's actually different around a motorcycle. They are trying, yeah, they are trying to, you know, at least people who can't, you know, keep it around their ears or whatever. You know what this looks like at times? I'm just, I'm just going to hold it up and you can use your imagination. A banana head. Hey, mm, yes. How about this one? So, yes! <laughs> I like that one. Fantastic, That's Mr. Fox. One. Yes. I have a couple more I have to take my glasses off for. Oh, so, uh, this one's Carrie's. Carrie made oh, this one. For me. What you got? It's musical. Oh, music. Nice. Oh. It's yeah, nice. Carrie's making some good math. Yeah, she is. She's doing free bow, y'all. Venmo her. Yes. Get some <laughs> math. Her up. So I've got one that's not super, like, functional or whatever. But if you want to escape the world you're living in, you just yeah. walk around with this view master and change the scene. <laughs> and you're not, <laughs> you're I'm not in the tonal anymore. <laughs> You're I'm just that. In your own world. Yes, that's I'm for that one. <laughs> that sounds good. Okay. But my favorite one, okay, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Yay! I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Although you have to put a mask on him because his mouth opens. This? Oh my gosh! That lady made change on this thing. <gasps> oh, yeah. All right, it's not that functional, but hey. That's you cool. gotta have you gotta have some fun. Some that is hilarious. But the main thing is, I think, and I never thought I would hear myself saying this, but just wear them so we can get past this, so people can be healthy, and it makes people. It's just the least little thing you can do to make someone feel better. You know, like it's just just do it. We wear our seatbelts. You know that saves lives. Yeah. You know. Yes. So. And it's okay to laugh and to have fun. And yes, it it's is. a serious situation and people have died and all that, but oh, I can't yeah. have my kids living in a world of fear. So we have yeah. to make, make some fun out of things too. And, and still understand, you know, the situation. But um, so anyways, I love my Chewbacca. And it's so true that we bought it for the kids for Christmas, but I think I've used it more than the yeah, kids. I bet you have. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, I guess our time is coming to an end. But Ooh. is there anything else we want to talk about before we go? Because we want to do this weekly. This is going to come on the review. So if anybody has anything you want us to review, okay, like, I'll be honest. This is going to be a shocker for a lot of people. First of all, I've never seen Hamilton. Second of all, oh, I'm not. Oh, you still haven't watched it? <laughs> no. I, okay, this is a big shocker. Big disclosure. I am not a big musical theater person. <laughs> I'm not a big Broadway person. The only time I kind of know a show is if I'm going to direct it, so I listen to it, watch it, so I know what I'm going to be doing. But I'm more like of an indie band type music, you know, those kind of things. So I, I, I love what I do, but I'm not like, when I'm not at work, I'm not like, I'll listen to show teams. That's not what I do. So okay, no, I haven't well, seen Hamilton. Haven't seen next, Evan Hansen. Haven't seen Evan Okay, well, I get Evan Hansen because that's not like easily accessible. But <laughs> by next week's show, you must watch Hamilton. Okay, I will I watch it. How fun would it be to get a newcomer's? Have you even heard? You probably heard some of the music, but not much. One time, what show? When we were, I think it was when we were building the set for probably Les Mis or no, yeah, maybe Les Mis or something. They were playing. You know how the kids come around and they yeah. just play all the music. So I think I heard. I know the room where it happens. I heard that over and over and over and over. But that's about it. I don't think I've heard much. I will say this, if you, do not, if you don't know your American history, which I'm a history buff, I love history so much, it will be very confusing. So I'm I good. Would, I'm smart. Good for you. Because there's some people that I watched it with that were like, I have no idea what's going on. I'd be like, it's because you don't know your American history. And those people probably thought Benjamin Franklin was a president. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty smart. But as a director, as a director, Denise, you will love 
appreciate it. The direction, the lights, and sadly, and we'll talk about this next time when we review it, but I got to see it at TPAC and up top in the cheapy, cheap, cheap seats, right? Which were still amazing. The lights are Crazy. so amazing in that show. And you don't get to see as much of it on the Disney Plus. Yeah. But the lights, the subtle choreography, the blocking and the music and the way it flows, I really would be surprised if you don't just love it. That's what Journey said. She saw it and she said that was the one comment she had. She's the lights. She's, I know that sounds silly, but the lighting was incredible. And that's what yes. she's multi million dollar lighting system. I've done a lot of <laughs> just videos. like the Center for the Arts. I After know, I know Nick True and his lighting ability. <laughs> 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 that is true. Okay, I will watch Hamilton and we'll bring it up next week. We'll talk about Hamilton. And if anybody has anything they would like us to review, whether a food, like to see Mark eat a really hot pepper. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> or um, anything that you want reviewed, tell us and we'll review it. Otherwise, we're going to come on and, and choose our own topics. We're going to talk about stuff. We're going to have guests come on like Nick and Stella. We're so happy to have them with us tonight. So, yeah. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Join us next week for the a review. <laughs> okay, say it with us, Nick. And oh, Stella. the review. <laughs> and what are you going to do? You're going to upload your video. Okay, yes, and challenge said. someone and tag 500. us all. Yes. Five hundred. Here we go. Five hundred. Stella, you can win five hundred dollars, and you don't have to share it with Jude or your parents. It's yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you next week on. The, the review. review. <laughs> Bye. See ya.